welcome you guys here and make sure you guys get a chance to check out all of the nice vendors. They have a bunch of cool different things and I want to introduce myself. My name's Angie Tran and I am your co MC for today, um, known as Mrs. Vietnam 2022. Woo! Woo! Good morning, almost afternoon, everybody. My name is Darren Stewart. I'm the current vice mayor and city council member for the city of Elk Grove. Welcome to Elk Grove in my district. You know, historically, uh, I, although I grew up in Sacramento, um, my mom is from Hong Kong. She came over here by herself, by herself in 1966. I, my wife is also from from Hong Kong, so I, I have a, and myself, of course, I, I am of Chinese descent. But I, I have such it's such an honor to participate in this event, celebrating uh, Asian Heritage Culture Month. Hanji, how about you? Um, so I have spent more than a decade serving the County of Sacramento, and I continue to find ways to give back to, give back to the community. Sorry, guys, mic check. <laughs> but um, I also what? Sorry, guys. Are these better? All right. This one. This one's. This one's fading out too. Try that. I'm gonna call old school with it. <laughs> oh, now the duet starts. Here we yeah. go. <laughs> So, as I was saying, um, I'm also part of a volunteer group, an organization that serves around the whole entire world, actually. And I have one coming up in Vietnam and Ho Chi Minh City in September, so that should be pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. But anyway, I wanted to thank you all for joining us here as we celebrate the Asian American Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Yes. We have over 80 food and craft vendors, along with special guest performances that you don't want to miss. By the way, if you're not here, you know who you are if you're not here, you can also find us uh, streaming on Access Sacramento on the YouTube and Facebook page. And it, restrooms are inside and to the left if you don't, uh, if you don't find that already. Um, and then, you know, please just stick around, enjoy all the performances, and take in all the, all the vendors that we have today. As we celebrate Asian and Pacific Islanders in America, we cannot forget to honor and recognize those indigenous people and who have been stewards of this land for, manil for a millennium. Sorry. We are grateful that Councilwoman Williams and members of the Wilton Rancheria Tribal Council are here today to help, help us open the day. Please give a warm welcome to we have Council Member, uh, Councilwoman Williams and members of the Wilton Rancheria Tribal Council, um, but I also want to recognize they are a huge part of the Elk Grove community. Um, they are identified as speaking the, speaking the Miwok dialect, and their territory encompasses not just Elk Grove, but Sacramento County as well. So please, Councilmember Williams, can we join us up here? Thank you. Hey. Good morning, everyone. Um, like you said, um, I'm an elected official for Wilton Rancheria. We're really excited to be here. Um, and especially, too, because I found out it's the first one. Um, and so for people to create space for one another is a beautiful thing. And that shows community, that shows kinship, and then that also strengthens us as people. Um, and then also, too, out of the pandemic, like here we are, like get to see faces. It's, it's a beautiful day. So I'm here with Steve. He's our uh, Tribal Historic Preservation Officer. Steve, do you want to introduce yourself? Thank you, Councilwoman Williams. My name is Steve Hutchison. I'm the Tribal Historic Preservation Officer for Wilton Rancheria, Sacramento County's only federally recognized tribe. I want to welcome you all to Miwok Country. Oh. And so um, how, we norm how we typically do things where we come from, um, we'll start with a prayer and then we'll send a song. And so in this prayer, I'm going to say in our language, 
This prayer, um, it asks for permission for us to be here. It gives thanks for in all the directions that people come. Um, it gives thanks to the people who taught us and who continue to teach us. Um, and, it, and it gives good, um, good feelings for um, the generations that have been here and the ones to come. And here we go. Kuchi ihema, uksipa chinetto, sakako onexika echa, amatama opuli sanit yapa, anitma neto, salika echa, anuki la la huse kunetto oli nem, temekmu me no, oyi samoko, hoyi yo yo, uksipa ehli, ami ebili se echa, temekmu oya de urka winakas. Oh. Oh. So we, uh, we say oh instead of clapping when we do our prayers and at the end of songs and celebrations and things, we get a big O oh for Councilwoman uh, Williams here. Thank you for that prayer. Um, <clears throat> again, my name is Steve Hutchison, Tribal Historic Preservation Officer for Wilton Rancheria. I'm going to share a song that uh, was taught to me by my great-grandfather. It's a high-stepping celebration fun dance song. Usually we have uh, shakehead dancers with uh, full regalia. Um, that's uh, you know mimicking you know animals and things when they dance, um, but those people couldn't make it today. So I'm just going to share this song with you. Um, as it, once again, uh, thank you, and uh, I appreciate this. It's a wonderful thing, first annual Asian Pacific Islander um, event, and uh, we hope to be a part of it in the future as well. Um, and here we go. <clears throat> Oh ah ho my, oh ah ho ho my, oh ah ho my, oh ah ho ho my, oh ah ho my, oh ah ho ho my. He said lo lo le, he said lo lo le, oh ah ho my, oh ah ho ho my, oh ah ho my, oh ah ho ho my, oh oh. Oh, Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Have a good event, guys. Enjoy yourself. Woo. Can we get another O for Councilwoman Williams and the oh. members of Wilson Rancheria? Yes. Thank you so much for all your blessings. Next, we would like to invite onto the stage the creators of today's event. Jason Jong with the Sacramento Asian Pacific Culture Village and Jennifer and Remy Toku Naga of the of the creative space. Woo. Welcome. <laughs> Woo. We made it. Look at us. Look at this. It's so wonderful to see everyone here today. Uh, it's so wonderful to see everyone here today. And we, you know, we, we, we had this vision, I don't know, maybe four or five months back, and we met each other through uh, an activity that my sister's house was producing in uh, what is considered the second uh, historic, or second iteration of Japantown at their my sister's house treasure storefront. And uh, the creative space is this wonderful incubator for small businesses. They were the very first organization in the region to really throw down hard and support Asian American, Asian owned businesses a year ago, um, you know, during COVID. And everyone, of course, has taken a hit small businesses across the country have been taking a hit, but Asian American communities have also been feeling a different kind of, of pain. And uh, the sisters, Jennifer and Remy, uh, have, have been doing so much for the Asian American small business community. And I'm very grateful to be working with them. So, so let's hear it uh, for Jennifer and Remy Tokunaga, the creative space. Oh gosh, Hi everyone, thank you all so much for being here with us today um, for our first ever um, Asian Pacific Culture Fest. Um, again, Jennifer and Remy Tokunaga, um, co-founders of the Creative Space in Midtown Sacramento. So we do own an event space where we host uh, small business pop-ups, events, um, and uh, just we're so very honored to have you all here today with us um, to celebrate AAPI heritage together. Um, the idea behind today's event started a year ago with about 15 AAPI owned small businesses. It was during a time when, as Jason mentioned, um, there was a lot of AAPI hate going on and we 
my sister and I, Remy, we took it upon ourselves to host an event at our space that really shed a positive light on the AAPI community by having AAPI-owned businesses pop up at our space, and it was an overwhelming um, welcoming of arms, really, that the community embraced us with. And so uh, we had the vision of amplifying it this year into a bigger space with more people so that we can all do this together. And today we have 80 plus vendors here. We have um, over a dozen solo and group performances. We have 10 amazing um, nonprofits here who do amazing work in our AAPI community. Um, and we have the support of all of our sponsors here with us today, our friends, our family. Um, just, it, it's a group effort. It takes a village to put all of this together and, and have this with you all today. So we're just so very grateful and so very thankful. And of course to Jason, none of this is possible without him either. Um, you know, we had the, the dream and the vision and all together we all brought it to life. So it's really beautiful to be here with you all today and celebrating AAPI Heritage Month. So thank you. Can we get another hand for Jason, Jennifer, and Remy? As I said, this would not be possible without them today and their leadership and all the vendors and volunteers that are helping us out. You know, I want to uh, also talk about another other leaders here in the community. And right now we have some elected leaders that are here with us this morning as our guests. Uh, and I want to start off by introducing a couple of my council colleagues that I have the honor and pleasure of introducing. Uh, these are two strong Asian women that are leaders in our community. I'm going to start off with our mayor, Bobby Singh Allen. Come on up, Mayor Allen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all doing? Good. I am the proud mayor, Bobby Singh Allen. For those of you who don't live in Elk Grove, welcome to our beautiful city. We are so fortunate in Elk Grove that three of the five council members are AAPI. I am a proud immigrant. I moved to this great country. I'm coming, I come from India. We have our Chinese American and we have a Vietnamese American. This is the beauty of our city. Absolutely. You know, we are over 30% AAPI in this great city, and we come from all different countries. And what's wonderful about AAPI Heritage Month is that we get to celebrate all of the beautiful countries and cultures with great diversity, the great food, and our wonderful languages and our culture. So I'm looking forward to celebrating with all of you today, and I want to do another shout out to my friend Jason Jong. There is not one AAPI event that happens without his blessings. He does such an amazing job, Jason. And all of the organizers, but I've been to so many events over the last decade, and Jason is behind almost every single one of them. And you know, it takes a lot of effort to do something like this. And this is our inaugural event, but we know that year after year, we're gonna see all of this continue to grow and build from the momentum started today. So we want to see you all back next year and years after. But until then, have a great day and celebrate all of our rich diversity. Great to be with all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor C. Allen. And don't forget, we're also streaming live on, on Access Sacramento, Facebook, and YouTube. Okay, another strong Asian leader who happens to be a woman is my good friend and fellow council colleague, Stephanie Wynn. All right, I'm gonna have to bring this down. <laughs> Not that tall. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Elk Grove. The mayor said we're over 30%. I'm letting you know we are at 38% AAPI here in our city. Yes. As a Vietnamese American, I've got to say, Angie, you know how to rock that Aoyai so beautifully. I mean, I walked up and I saw her, I said, are you Photoshopped? Because that fits you perfectly. If you don't know, that's a Vietnamese traditional outfit that we wear, and it's catered to shape your body completely, and she's got that down. 
I cannot wear one like that, no way. <laughs> right. But she's got it down beautifully. Thank you for being here. Um, I had an opportunity to go in there and take a sneak peek at all of the vendors in there. Um, as you heard, there are over 80 vendors that are in there and they've got some amazing items for you to take a look at. I hope you brought your money or a few credit cards because you're gonna, you're gonna wanna spend in there. And then the food that we have out here as well, Thank you, Jason Jong and your group for putting this together for us here in the city of Elk Grove. This is gonna be the first of many that we do here. And so we look forward to seeing you at all of them. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you Council Member Wynn. You know, representation matters, right? We have two very strong leaders in, in, who are also uh, Asian women on the city council. So representation, ma representation matters, folks. I also want to introduce, take a moment to introduce uh, Deputy Sacramento District Attorney Tian Ho, speaking of representation. Tian, come on up and say hello, please. First of all, thank you so much for having me here today. I want to recognize, obviously, Jason, who I've met recently. He is everywhere, like our mayor has said, and thank you to him and his team for really putting this event together. And the statistic you heard was 38% API representation in Elk Grove. And in California, we are the fastest growing ethnic and racial group. And that just shows the power of representation. So I was born in Vietnam came to this country as a refugee on a fishing boat. And so, as somebody who works at the district attorney's office, I've always said this, the DA's office and the district attorney is the attorney for the people, of the people, from the people, elected by the people, and we are your attorneys in the community. And it's so wonderful to see the community here today. And so thank you so much for being here and to celebrate our diversity and our culture. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tian. Tian's got a great story, too. I hope you guys get a chance to talk to him later. Uh, we got one more individual I want to bring up. He's a strong supporter of the AAPI community, our council colleague, my big brother on the council, Patrick Hume. Come on up here, Patrick. Hi, I'm not going to take too long to say anything. You've heard enough political speaking today, but uh, I'm just looking forward to being your supervisor, representing you, being your voice for the larger region. Uh, I've been the longest serving uh, member on the city council at this point. We're a young city still, but I've been there for all of it as a planning commissioner and then as a council member. I think Elk Grove is a great place to live. I want to bring the same uh, ideology that we did to make this so great back to Sacramento County so we can keep the Sacramento region strong. Thank you so much for coming out and what a wonderful uh, way to celebrate uh, Asian heritage. Thank you so much. Thank you, Councilmember Hume. Thank you again. And welcome every, all you guys. Thank you for joining us today and speaking out in front of our community. Very inspirational, motivating, um, strong APIC group there. Also now we're going to start with some of the fun. We have our performances coming up and I would like to say